I've created cleats for a lot of guys in the league. Justin Jefferson sticks out to everybody. It's one of everyone's favorite players these days. Cleveland Farrell, Jonathan Abram, Christian Wilkins, Xavier Howard, Josh Jacobs. The whole painting cleats, I don't know exactly how long it's been a thing. It was definitely a lot smaller. You know, people were just bladder paint and stuff like that. And I think throughout the years, it's came to be like super detailed and the competition is serious with all of us cleat artists. I, I usually can visualize everything in my head, the entire cleat, and now it's gonna look before I touch it. There was plenty nights last year where uh, I didn't go to bed for two to three nights on end, just two to three days straight, just painting. Got in this stuff because I found out that I had a talent of painting and it was fun to me. I know I have to learn the business side of it, but right now it's just about the grind and the hustle, you know, putting in those insane amount of hours. I'm Luke Dangler, custom cleat artist, and this is my hustle. I'm an artist, footwear designer, cleat customizer. I played football for 11 to 12 years, suffered a lot of injuries, and by the time I was 18 or 19, the doctors kind of cut me, like, no more for you. So I was drawn a lot to cope with the stress of not having football around anymore. I couldn't hold a job for more than three months. My parents, you know, had to tell them I quit another job. I want to paint some shoes. And they were like, oh no. And I painted this whole scenario in my head that this was just going to work. The first pair I ever created was a Winnie the Pooh pair of Converse. My mom walked out and saw it and was like, where'd you get this? And I painted it. And she was pretty happy. And she was like, oh, you might have something here, but now you need to sell it. This is my first piece of art. I'm not sure if I should sell this, so I put it back in the box and told her I sold them. It's still in, still in the closet. <laughs> I would call every single team and try to get forwarded to the equipment room to see if they would send me a player's cleats. I didn't even care who at the time. I just wanted to show what I could do. Josh Jacobs is an athlete that I was working with pretty closely. Josh is uh, an important person to me in, in my career. I didn't really have much work because of COVID, so I reached out to Josh and said, hey man, I was like, can I paint a pair for the first game in Allegiant Stadium? Didn't know each other too well, but he was just like, yeah, go for it. And so I uh, stayed up two days, painted a crazy pair, drove out to Vegas nine hours with a friend of mine, delivered his cleats. He was pretty blown away. Super thankful for him, and I'm really happy to call Josh a friend. He gives me complete creative freedom. He's never told me what to paint, and we've done over 30-something cleats. I get a lot of inspiration from my morning walks to the ocean. It's just a very healing energy that you get from that. Combine it with some music and the ideas and creativity kind of branch out on the world of their own. I would say art's important to me just for the sole reason of just being able to express myself. I got a pretty wild and fast brain that a lot of things are going through. It's just constantly drawing inspiration and ideas. So if I didn't have art, I'd probably go crazy. The prep is what's gonna make it that cleat last or not. First step is always to sand the cleat down. That takes about 30 minutes. You wanna go over it a few times. Then you wanna acetone it, getting all the oils and finishes off so the paint has something to stick to and also um, a good adhesion promoter to put on before you start painting. I create every single color. You gotta know what colors to mix to get certain shades and just have to play with it as much as you can until it's right there. I always knew I wanted to have my own brand or something. I needed something to represent me one day that I'd need a logo. So I was just doodling around on Snapchat and drew it, tried to embody the craziness of me. I think I did it well. And uh, I was like, I'll stick with that. <laughs> and I stuck with it. Social media is a super important part of all of our artists' career these days. Basically our own gallery, so that's how I started to take off a little bit and catch some traction. Just this last year, the Simpsons pair I did for Josh was a big pair that kind of went viral everywhere. The Nightmare Before Christmas um, pair I did for Josh Jacobs before Halloween, that pair did great. One of the good memories in all this that I've shared a few times is uh, I remember, I think I had done like 30, 40, 50, 60 pairs, whatever the number was, I did a lot of pairs and it would not get in the end zone. I was just waiting for my first touchdown. Josh scored the first touchdown on my cleats and saved me the ball to go with it. It was a pretty special moment because it took so damn long to get in that end zone. So we were pretty thrilled jumping up and down. I have a lot of bigger plans besides cleats. This is the third year I did the Super Bowl ball with uh, Kansas City and Philly going at each other. Um, obviously I had to put Mahomes and Jalen Hurts on the ball. I uh, liked the way it came out. It took a lot of time, but it's always worth it. Have your vision, believe in yourself, 
don't let too many other people impact what you're gonna do or and don't even necessarily always share the, all your ideas because sharing an idea that you're super passionate about and super excited about to someone who might not think that's the best idea you know just getting that kind of like huh you think that's gonna work that could really hurt how you're going about this project now but at the end of the day yeah, if you can find something that you remotely love uh, it's 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 smooth sailing. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching my hustle. For more videos like this, make sure you like and subscribe. And also, you can find me on all social media platforms at I am Luke Dangler. That's it. I'm out.